building cars that are ahead of their time. This has been the driving force behind Audi since the beginning. It's no coincidence that Audi's slogan expresses its pioneering spirit and its enthusiasm for technology. Vorsprung durch Technik. It's been 30 years now since Audi entered the floodlights on the stage of the Geneva Motor Show, changing the world of cars forever. The first Audi Quattro. Quattro stood for all-wheel drive, which was a rather exotic technology at the time. Rear-wheel drive was the popular choice back then, cars with front-wheel drive were considered cutting-edge. And suddenly four-wheel drive in a serial road-going sedan? People were shaking their heads and wondering how we were going to sell even 500 cars. But after 11 years, 11,425 cars were sold. That shows that the concept worked. And today, 33% of all Audi cars sold come with a Quattro drive. And that's really something. Audi has produced over 3.3 million cars with its all-wheel drive so far. The origins of the Quattro drive in 1977, though, were a matter of happenstance and circumstance. Testing the Audi 100 was a big thing back then. Those cars had about 200 horsepower. The board of directors were taking a test drive with the development engineers in Finland at Arctic temperatures. It was then that they realized that a small vehicle equipped with all-wheel drive would perform extremely well on snow and ice. The car in question was the rather unexciting but effective military off-road vehicle, the Volkswagen Iltis. One of the development engineers had a Volkswagen Iltis there at the time. What really surprised him was the performance in the curves and especially accelerating out of the curves. The cars with front-wheel drive had problems, but the Iltis performed receptively with agility. Then the head of chassis development came up with the idea that technology with a more powerful engine would be an interesting project. Let's try and see. A car which distributes the driving force over all four tires can absorb more lateral guided force on each tire than a car with rear wheel or front wheel drive. Its traction and cornering ability is superior. The first Audi Quattro boasted 147 kilowatts or 200 horsepower, reaching a top speed of 220 kilometers or 137 miles per hour. A typical Audi, both sporty and dynamic. The Quattro made its way to public awareness with the Audi 80. That was the initial spark, although the model wasn't exactly a bargain. The entire competition followed our lead over the next couple of years by installing four-wheel drives. But not as well as us, because they simply converted conventional rear-wheel drive into four-wheel drive. And that's how the Quattro reached the wide masses of car drivers and became an integral part of the Audi model range. And there was no longer denying Quattro's success after this television commercial came out in 1986. The next great development came with the torsion differential. Torsion is a contraction of torque and sensing, torque sensitivity. It has an automatic mechanical detection to ascertain whether an axle is carrying more force than it should and then automatically transfers that force to another axle that can absorb it. This mechanical release was the next big step for the driver because it was a system which independently distributed the driving force. But it wasn't just an unparalleled triumph for Quattro in the consumer series. The 80s were also the high point for the Quattro power transmission in motorsports. Based on the original Audi Quattro model, the Sport Quattro literally shook up the racing world. Uh, Darn is uh, star started in front of me, uh, one minute in front of me, and uh, when I had done seven Ks, I passed him like anything, you know, it was a sort of a very uh, tight bend and then maybe half a kilometer straight and uh, I passed him maybe 100 kilometers different. Walter Röhl, who is still considered the best rally car racer of all time, led the way into the history books with the Sport Quattro. One of the most fascinating stories about the Audi Quattro took place at Pikes Peak, Colorado in the US. 
It was a mountain race over natural roads and gravel. The record to beat was Michel Mouton's top time in the traditional quattro. And Walter Röhl broke that record with the S1 and its more than 600 horsepower. It was the first car that I was afraid to be co-piloting. You have to understand that this car accelerated from 0 to 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds over loose ground. But the motorsports victories weren't exclusively reserved for the popular Sport Quattro. In 1998, the popular Quattro technology expanded into the compact car segment with an individual solution. Our basic approach at Audi is every car line has its own Quattro. For the compact car line with transverse engines like the A3 and TT, we created a Quattro drive with an electronically controlled multiple disc clutch which sits on the rear axle. The novelty is that when the discs are pressed together by oil pressure, the driving torque is continuously transferred, in extreme cases up to 100% to the rear axle. The early 21st century brought about a thrust of innovation. The evolutionary steps of the Quattro drive became ever more elaborate and developed in shorter intervals. In 2005, we incorporated a center differential with an asymmetric dynamic torque distribution into the RS4 series. This asymmetric dynamic torque distribution gives 60% to the rear axle and 40% to the front axle. This provides excellent driving dynamics and vehicle handling. It's slightly focused more on the rear and is simply more agile and dynamic. In 2007, an exceptional vehicle from the Audi series needed an exceptional solution for the Quattro all-wheel drive. The Audi R8, a high-performance sports car, holds a special place amongst the Audi models, even in its packaging and power transmission. The mid-engine is placed just before the rear axle, and the transmission is directly behind that. Because of the special V8 or V10 mid-engine layout, the Audi R8 has a tailored Quattro drive. The core contains viscous couplings with lamellae, which operates with the viscous fluid. Due to the mid-engine layout, the Audi R8 is designed to be extremely back-heavy. When operated normally, only 15% of the torque is regulated to the front axle. Further developments to the ambitious and dynamic sports car segment continued in 2008 and 2010. A first step in development marks the new sport differential in the Audi S4 all-wheel drive. The sport differential is the icing on the cake of the Quattro drive. It makes it possible not only to distribute the torque between the rear and the front, but also between the left and the right. The sport differential presses the car, which, because of its idleness, wants to go straight at first, right into the curves. That's because there's more torque on the outside wheel. It's really like driving on rails, like on carving skis. And finally, in 2010, came the latest evolutionary step in Quattro technology with the new power machine Audi RS5, the crown gear differential. The crown gear's center differential is linked to the vectoring torque control in the RS5. That's a smart software solution from the brake management. Regardless of how the driver steers, the system sends braking energy to all four wheels to improve the handling. I like to call it a smart combination of mechanics and electronics. This concentrated use of high technology enables precise and controlled handling and increased traction, as is the Audi Quattro tradition. And that's how it will continue. The Quattro will constantly evolve, but will also revolutionize it. The electrification offers great opportunities for the Quattro as well. Those are the challenges that still face us. But the Audi engineers have some tricks up their sleeves in this area as well. We have a lot to look forward to.